Hello, welcome everyone. So in this video podcast, we're going to be talking about one important structure, uh, which is the central sulcus. Now, as usual, as a first step, uh, when we look at any picture of a prosection, the first step is to orientate the prosection or that picture of the prosection. So what you're looking over here is basically on the right is the medial uh, surface of the cerebral hemisphere. Uh, once again, this is a midline sagittal section taken through the brain. Uh, so you, you can see the right cerebral hemisphere has been removed and the left cerebral hemisphere can be seen from the medial side. The cerebellum being on the posterior side over here gives us a clue that this is the back end of the brain. So this could be our occipital lobe and the frontal lobe is going to be to the front. You can also see the brain stem uh, hanging down from the base of the brain over here. Right, so now, and if you look at the at the left over here, this is the lateral or the supralateral view of the cerebral cortex. Uh, once again, cerebellum at the back means that this is the posterior end of the brain, the occipital lobe at the back and the frontal lobe in the front over here. You can also see a prominent sulcus here, which is the lateral sulcus. Now, where is the central sulcus? Uh, the central sulcus is situated right over here, more or less in the center. Uh, separating the frontal lobe in the front from the parietal lobe at the back. Uh, uh, so it basically, in, a, in, in other words, what we can say is that it separates the motor area from the uh, sensory area. Now, the central sulcus is of great importance because the gyrus, which lies anterior to it, uh, contains the motor cells, which initiate the movements of the opposite side of the body. And we are referring to this gyrus over here, which is the precentral gyrus, which is kind of sandwiched between the central sulcus and the precentral sulcus. Both of them run parallel to each other. Posterior to the central sulcus lies the general sensory cortex or the primary sensory area, which is lying inside uh, the primary uh, in, inside the post-central gyrus. This post-central gyrus is a uh, sandwich between the central sulcus in the front and the post-central sulcus at the back. In fact, uh, all three sulci, the pre-central sulcus, the central sulcus, and the post-central sulcus, they run in parallel to each other. Central sulcus uh, indents the superior medial border of the hemisphere about uh, one centimeter behind the midpoint and it then runs downwards and forwards across the lateral aspects of the cerebral hemisphere. Its lower end is uh, separated from the lateral sulcus over here by uh, a little bridge of uh, gray matter, a gyrus over here. It doesn't have any specific name to it, but uh, the, what I'm trying to say is that the central sulcus doesn't touch the lateral sulcus. Uh, and as we mentioned already, if you look at the medial side over here, the central sulcus then extends on the superior medial side, uh, on the superior medial margin, and then goes on to the medial surface here, uh, where it is limited by this gray matter, which is known as the paracentral lobule. This is the anterior uh, part of the paracentral lobule, which is nothing but the continuation of the precentral gyrus. This precentral gyrus uh, coming from the lateral surface, uh, extending onto the medial surface over here, and the posterior part of the post uh, of the paracentral lobule is basically a continuation of the post central gyrus, which we could see over here behind the central sulcus, and it. Uh, jumps over onto the medial side and continues down here behind the central sulcus. And together, they, uh, the post and the precentral gyrus, they form the paracentral lobule, which envelops or which clasps the, uh, the, the central sulcus on the medial side.